Hey, what's going on guys? John here, and today I wanted to do a video review for the Cooler Master HAF 700 EVO. So in this video, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about this case, I'll talk about the setup, um, some of the things I like, some of the things I don't like, and I'll really just go through as well the Cooler Master software and show you some of the features that this has. So um, this is actually my wife's build. I decided to surprise her with a brand new PC build, and um, she had an older case that was a lot smaller, very standard size, and I wanted to get her a full tower, something that I thought would just look really cool with her whole setup here. She has um, this nice like backdrop. There's um, a lot of plants here with like lighting. Um, has a lot going on with like her whole setup, and I was able to measure, and this does actually fit on this standard side, size desk that we have here. Um, it's an absolutely massive case. It's probably one of the biggest cases that I've ever used. Um, just going through the front panel, you have your reset, you basically got your power button here, you have your audio and um, ports here for microphone headset. You have four USB ports here and then a USB-C port as well. This includes a large um, display which can be fully customized and I'll show you that here in a bit um, in terms of what you can do. You can see right now we have it for um, the CPU setting so it reads out what the actual temperature is. This has these, um, these light bars that go across, there's six of them and these can be fully customized. Um, very, very cool, really gives it a very futuristic look. Um, and overall, inside the case, you just have massive, massive amounts of space. This actually has a full ATX motherboard in it, but you can even go with bigger motherboards. Um, I decided to just go with a standard board. I didn't want to go too crazy with this. We ended up going with a 7000 series AMD build. And overall, I was able to put a standard size radiator here at the top. Um, you can see that pretty much in the middle takes up some nice space, but I believe you could have even done two of these if I moved it over a tad. And then you have a grill here in the top where it has all the venting. Um, it includes two Cooler Master um, RGB based fans that are in the back here. And then you also have one more there in the middle at the bottom, which we're not utilizing. One thing that I don't know if a lot of people will real realize with this is Cooler Master includes a kit where you can vertically mount the GPU. My wife actually had purchased this back plate from one of her favorite games that she had custom ordered with an LED strip. So we decided to actually keep the standard mounting just because we wanted to kind of show off that back plate there and have the RGB. But this does include a vertical mounting kit. So instead of having the GPU insert like this, you could have it insert like this and you could just show the whole top of the actual GPU. So it's pretty cool that they include that kit. Additionally, there's a large mirror here. So if you actually want, um, in this case, we put the mirror on the bottom, but by default, the mirror is actually installed here on this back section. Um, we decided to put it at the bottom, and later on, we're gonna add some additional RGB fans um, going across the middle there just to kind of fill out the case. Um, beyond that, you do have, obviously, all the lighting in the front, and you could even add either more fans or hard drives. The hard drive mounting options in this case are absolutely endless. They literally give you options to mount all the way across the bottom, across the front, and then you also have a large storage, um, it's almost like a chest that actually flips out on the back, and you can install multiple um, either SSDs or standard platter drives. So your options for like RAID setups are pretty much endless. If you wanna do like some sort of storage build, you have more than enough capability for storage. Um, we're actually utilizing two M2 drives, which are just in the motherboard and then only a single drive. And it's just so funny to me how much extra space we have to do that. Um, you will need to utilize um, a USB header um, for plugging in some of the RGB and just getting the actual controller synced up. You also do have with this motherboard, it has for the main power button, reset button, all of that, there's a connector that's basically all bundled together. So on a standard motherboard, you literally just plug it in instead of kind of twisting each of the small little pins and putting them in. So that was one thing I really liked that Cooler Master did with this, just made it very easy to hook everything right up. And um, I didn't have to worry too much about trying to like specifically find, okay, where's the power button? Where's the power button plus? Where's the reset plus? And plugging those all in like you would with older motherboard and case setups. Um, on the other side of this, and again, I can't really show this too easily without taking this apart and this thing's a beast to move, but there's a large plate. It comes out from about here to about here, and it has a clip that basically you twist, and that allows you to pull the plate off, but all of the wiring is actually stuffed behind that. So you can kind of have a total mess on the other side where obviously we just have airflow and other things going on. There's nothing too restrictive happening here. Um, it's all basically buried within this metal part of the case, and there's a large plate that pushes all the wiring 
wires back in. So it's very, very easy to maneuver. Um, one thing I wasn't a huge fan of this case is in order to actually take the side panels off, you have to slide um, this top piece back and then these actually clip on and they can be a little bit touchy to kind of get and maneuver into the right space. You have to kind of clip them into the bottom and then maneuver it into position and that can be a little bit rough. Um, I did have a motherboard go bad, which was obviously no fault of the case. So I spent a lot of time taking pieces off, putting them back on. I highly recommend finding a space with like a large table where you can work on this. You can see even this is a pretty large space here on this desk, but um, this wasn't really enough space to have all of the components components like all of our different accessories from the boxes. So we moved this up to a kitchen table that was much bigger, um, laid it on its side, and then basically did all the work there. It can be a little bit tough if the table's tall, just due to the size of the case, you're gonna literally be like leaning over it, trying to like connect cables and things like that. So make sure you have just a big table with lots of space and somewhere that you can easily kind of overlook everything as you're building it all out. Um, overall, I'm very, very happy with the case. I'll kind of show you some of the Cooler Master settings here as well. So this is actually specific. This is through Cooler Master's, um, what they call their Master Plus app. So you can come in here and you can actually change you could do like um, the CM logo, Cooler Master logo. You have all your system settings, so I could change this to like the GPU clock. And this will actually, I think if I hit apply, um, this will just immediately change, or at least it should. I haven't really played around with it too much. My wife spent more time on this than me. Um, we can do like fan RPMs, things like that. You can do specific fans. Um, you have all these different settings that you could do. Um, I was joking around with my wife. I put like a, a photo of her <laughs> in the picture. Um, she found this like wolf icon. So if I go in here, let's see if it actually applies it. So there it goes there. So you can upload like your own custom images. Um, you could actually have it play like little videos. You can do MP4s up to 20 megabit. Um, you can do multi-display. So there's like custom stuff. You can completely turn it off. You could do the date and time. Um, and then again, obviously their, their default logo. So it's, it's pretty cool, all the different settings. You also have the ARGB Gen 2 controller. So this is basically gonna allow you to have all the different modes for colors like rainbow, recoil breathing, all these different settings. And then you can set your colors and that's basically where we get our front panel colors, our matching colors here in the back. She really went with this kind of like lighter, almost aqua blue color, and then we just matched all the separate components. Um, it was pretty easy to set all this up, but more or less you're just controlling those two fans and the front um, to really get all of this set up the way that you want. Um, you also have some main settings here. So this kind of just shows me all the different temps here right through, um, right through the Cooler Master system. But overall, pretty happy with the way this all turned out. Um, you know, overall, I think if you're looking for something that you want really the biggest, um, probably craziest case, I don't recommend something like this. If you plan on going to like land parties because it's just absolutely massive. I don't even try to move it on my own because it's just so big. Um, every time we moved it to and from the kitchen, I actually had my wife helping me. So yeah, anyway, hopefully you guys found this helpful. And, um, overall, I think if you're looking for one of the craziest builds for a CPU, um, brand new computer build, this is gonna be the one to get. Anyway, thanks for checking it out and I hope you found it helpful.